What is going on my broskies, my name is Toadski back again here to bring you guys yet another One Piece Treasure Cruise video and this is going to be a follow on from the video that I made about a week ago now talking about the Straw Hat Pirates and building a team that is a full dual unit team utilizing strength and dex units that can beat this challenge. So you're clearing two challenges at once, the strength and the dex challenge and it gets through it pretty comfortably. Uh, so with this video we're looking at the Revolutionary Army and we're looking at the Navy challenge. I did talk about it in my other video with Roger and Newgate how we, we basically do the same thing with a sign int team taking on the two garb challenges of the month and it is such a shame that we're getting another garb challenge this month that is a, another navy challenge like that uh, that really does suck because it really should have been changed to like worst generation or Hody, Hody Jones has not been out for a really long time I feel like that probably should have been the one to come out even though in my opinion I think Hody Jones is probably one of the most difficult ones but I think it probably should have been here considering we have some pretty brand like awesome brand new powerful legends that would have been a really nice opportunity to use them for that piece of content but I digress talking about the Straw Hat Pirates taking on the Revolutionary Army last month with the last challenges we were able to take on the Doflamingo challenge Heavenly Demon and they got through that pretty comfortably and you know with Revolutionary Army being the second GARP challenge of this fashion to come out into the game yeah the Straw Hat Pirates are not going to have too many issues here at all having access to the dual units of Crocodile and Daz Bones really good character because their, their switch effect can randomly shuffle any slots that are not already matching as well as getting rid of one turn of bind actually very useful um not only for revolutionary army but also for the navy challenge as you guys will see as well but also the dual unit of the uh big mom and kaido unit really good guaranteeing them a matching slot and a two times attack boost to themselves for that turn because of course with the straw hat pirates they don't provide any damage boosting effects with their switch effect unlike roger and newgate for example so having a character that can just provide damage boost is really really useful and then of course vivi rebecca providing really good healing and and the 2.5 times chain lock and you know provide a little bit of orb change as well if you got striker or cerebral characters on your team so it works very very nicely with this team composition here and uh you know really not too many issues here at all i mean we had the rayleigh support to help us deal with a bit of bind a little bit earlier we had the perispera support to get rid of the defense up on the kuma stage a little bit earlier in this fight as well but of course the stage the second last stage with karasu and Lindbergh, we don't actually have a character that just straight up removes bind with our characters here so we actually have to do one turn of stall but luckily we have the switch effect of Crocodile and Daz Bones to remove an additional one turn of bind. We only have to stall one turn, then we can use Straw Hats to change all those block slots into matching, get all the boost from them, so it works out very, very well. And then once we reach the final boss stage, once again, we have a secondary Straw Hat special to launch, and even if we had to, you know, hit a bunch of goods or greats to avoid that burn, the final tap is just going to give us enough damage to kill anyway. So really, really fun using the Straw Hats in this piece of content. And you guys will be seeing as well that this is the exact same team, unit for unit, support for support as the other team that you guys will be seeing here versus navy i do actually change the positionings of these characters just so i can have crocodile not be binded on this stage here but uh for the other team you guys will see with navy i actually swapped the positions of some of the characters but looking back at it the positions didn't really matter so having this unit composition in this position will beat both of the uh navy challenge as well as the revolutionary army challenge clearing two missions at once allowing you just to you know get through these challenges this month a little bit quicker so if you have the applicable units definitely give it a shot it's a bunch of fun really easy to get through it so without further ado i'll leave you guys with this clip and we'll talk more once we get to the navy challenge Yeah, 
So here we are at the Navy Challenge. So this is the exact same team unit for unit as the one that we showed off in last week's video. So nothing really too crazy, nothing amazing to really talk about here. But this is not the exact same clip. I actually do record the clip again just to show you guys that, yeah, this team actually does work pretty effectively. Though there is a couple of things you do need to note in terms of RNG. This team actually does rely on a little bit of RNG. And it's just in, in terms of getting around the hunger because, of course, you need to consume two recovery slots to get rid of that. And the only way that we're really generating recovery slots is naturally luckily we do have the switch effect of daz bones and crocodiles so it'll just randomly change our slots that are not matching which could just help us get a higher chance of landing those recovery slots that we require you guys will see in this clip here that you know we don't get both recovery slots on the first turn we luckily get one on this turn and i believe we get one on the next turn as well so we can actually take a couple of turns to get through the uh, kirby and helmepo stage and if, you know if we don't get those recovery slots it's not the end of the world we can just literally just end the run and come back in because luckily this is only stage three and the first two stages are you know just stall stages so luckily for us we can just get through it pretty comfortably if we if we get unlucky with recovery slots not the end of the world we can come back but another thing that will require a little bit of rng is when we get to the kizaru stage and what i mean by that is that when we use the special ability of the kaido and big mom we need to ensure that at least kaido and big mom have a matching slot on themselves um, because that will enable them to hit really really hard honestly looking back at it even if they don't have a matching slot i'm pretty sure it will still be enough damage to kill but it's a lot better to just have that matching slot um and you know you can do it in a couple different ways because you know when you use kaido and big mom special they change all of your crew slots into strength or dex so it's literally a 50 50 shot at you getting a matching slot if you don't get lucky you can use the switch effect of croc and daz bones to randomly shuffle your slots you can also get an opportunity there and luckily a lot of the good characters on this team when you use their switch effect they will generate themselves a slot so Crocodile Daz Bones, I think, I don't think they actually generate themselves a slot. I think when you use their special, they might, I can't remember exactly. Kaido and Big Mom, when you switch, they give themselves a slot. Both of the captains, the Luffy and Straw Hats, will give themselves a slot when you use their switch. And also Doflamingo and Treble, when you use their switch effect, will give themselves a matching slot. So as long as Kaido and Big Mom have a slot, that's really the only important component for the Kizaru stage. But obviously, once Kizaru goes down, we can use Luffy special on the Fujitora stage, another one on the Akainu stage, and then in terms of getting around the damage threshold we had Perispero for the first activation and for the second activation we have the support of Bellamy on Doflamingo and Treble so that when we launch their special on the revive of Akainu he's going to remove two turns of enemies damage threshold making it very very easy to get that W so that is going to end this video today thank you very much for watching and if you guys did enjoy the video make sure you go ahead and leave a like and if you want to stay up to date with all of the content that I post on my channel including more One Piece Treasure Cruise content make sure to hit the subscribe button down below but then that guys i'll see you guys within the next video